Hello there guys and welcome back to a new video. Before we get into this video, please smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to talk about today a few hidden features on FIFA that some people may not know about. So when you load on FIFA, you go to customize. This is all your settings. So you could go on edit teams club transfers here you could transfer any players to any club so you could get the best players and then move it to your your club so my club Doncaster Rovers and then start a career mode with the best team in the world or if you've just signed a player in real life you could transfer that player to your team stadiums so if you wanted to change your stadium you want to you want to make your stadium bigger if you're going to start career mode you can change it here as well also your updates of here so if there has been a few signings so in january normally they'll do an update and then you just go on to the download updates and then that'll download it and it'll put all the players that have moved to different clubs there also when you're starting a new career mode you could edit your manager you could edit him how you want change the face eyes nose everything Got a hair. Could have long hair. Could have short hair. Could have a big beard. Easy to do. And then if you go into outfits, you could be quite smart. You could have a, a shirt and a tie. Or you could have a, a tracksuit. out the top and then if you just press options and then that automatically save it and then onto your club if you're wanting to choose your club or whatever club you wanted to choose the few more options on here so here we go your home stadium you could change your stadium here you could change your stands I'm wanting a bit of a big stadium because I'm wanting to get to the Premier League. So I want a quite a decent sized stadium. And then all I do have to save it is just press options. If you're on PlayStation, probably start on Xbox. Other things here, your difficulty, how many minutes you want, pound. Also here, if you wanted to do a financial takeover, if you just click on that, you put as how much money you want. You could go up to one billion pound. I'm going to go for half a billion, and then just advance. A few more features some people may not know about. So to get onto your squad, you just go onto squad, and then go onto squad hub. So this is your squad hub. So there's a few things here. So if you at the top stats development and financial so if you press r1 if you're playstation it'll tell you the stats how many games how many goals this clean sheets development so it'll tell you how much they've gone up and now financial so if you just click scroll it up forward and if you click on wage and press square this will put it in order how much money each player's on so top earnings three grand here and then if you scroll down two grand and so on value and press square again your top value players at 1.1 million and then so on and also if you go to your office you could all change your 
your wage. So if you're wanting more wage, you just use the analog and put it down what you want, how much wage you want. And all you do is press X, set it like that. Also on my career, you can have a look and it'll tell you all your stats, what you've done in the last couple of seasons, how many trophies you've won, how many games you've won. Also browse job. It's not too early in the season, but after about six, seven games, if you go on browse job, there'll be a few job openings. If you're wanting to move to a bigger club, or you think you're going to get sacked and you think you should move to a club. Also, your youth academy. So if you've got a youth staff, hire your staff, set up scouting network, click the country you want to go to how long you want them to scout for, what sort of player you want to go, do you want to go for a winger, do you want to go for a defensive player, a goalkeeper, so I'm going to go for attacker, six months, and then that'll show up in your office, saying your scout has gone, and then after a couple of games or so, it'll come up in your office that they found you some players, and all you do is click on it, and then if you want him to release them or you want him to take them to your club uh, also global transfer network so you want him to put a scout out for a certain sort of player so we're just going to This one is available, them two scouts are already out. Pick a country, or oh, already one there. Let's go on higher, let's hire a scout. So obviously the ones with the stars are the most experienced and get the best players for you. Send to a country. Gonna go to Spain. Ooh, yeah, Spain. What you do is press R1, go to instructions to get rid of these ones because normally we already have one set up before you start the career mode. But we're going to change it to ones you want. So all you do is press square to remove this one. Add new instruction. Let's go for first team quality. Any position will do for now. I'm going to have 16 to 20. 23, get a young player also, change this to promising as well, so that I get a young, a good young player, potential player who can go up, go up overall so we can sell him off eventually. Also if you wanted to buy some players, you go and search players. If you don't want to use the scout, you want to search it yourself. Just go to a championship club. Let's pick. So, say you wanted to buy your player, you could scout him. And then after a couple of games, it'll show you his overall and his value. And then shortlist in your transfer hub. And then to find your transfer hub, just go all the way back. And then it's on the right corner here. This is your transfer hub, and there's your player. Obviously, you have to wait until you scout scouted him, and then you can put an offer in for him. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Any more videos you wanted me to make, if you're struggling on anything, please smash it in the comments and I'll get back to you straight away. Thank you, thank you for watching, take care guys, Lloyd out.